Hello, welcome back to part 3, where we're going to uh, enjoy our birthday party, apparently. So, let's go speak to the guests. Happy birthday! We really surprised you, didn't we? <laughs> Your dad was afraid you were on to us, but I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. Hmm. Um, bearing in mind, I'm going to be evil. Hey, you didn't fool me yet, just pretended not to know. Smart, I say. You're such a liar. Okay, if you're so smart, what did I get you for your birthday? Uh, a date with Christine Kendall. I bet suppose she's the the vault's uh, Mrs. I want to be. Gross. Oh. I didn't think you even liked girls. <laughs> and you know what I mean. Before you say something rude about me, I guess maybe I should give this to someone else. Someone who likes Grognak the Barbarian <gasps> better than me and Christine. The question is, how could you tell the difference? <laughs> <laughs> Christine, the pin-up babe of the vault. I have a Grognak. Okay, let's have a check of our pit boy. Uh, it's a very quick guided tour of the pit boy. Uh, the first status gives you condition of your limbs, radiation, exposure. Um, and any status effects. The second one uh, is your special statistics, then you've got your skill points, any perks, and then just a general overview of things that you've done in the game. And then you move across to items, weapons, apparel, uh, which is your suit aid, which is like your books and your stim packs and things, miscellaneous and ammunition, and then the last one is data, which is just maps. Local maps, world maps, any quests you've got. Notes! And radio, which we have a vault system, PA system. Which is probably a lot of crap. Turn that off, it's a birthday. Won't listen to that. Hey, you having a nice time? Mr. Gomez, how are you? Happy birthday, Sonny. Thank you. Are you oh. having a nice time? Yes, Mr. Overseer. Nice I'm having a great time. I hope you appreciate the effort Amara put into this party. She really seems to like you, for some reason. Of course she likes me. I'm a really charming guy. Yeah, of course. Don't presume too much on her friendship, young man. <laughs> I'm still the overseer, and I'm still in charge of this vault and everyone in it. Oh, calm down, you grumpy old sod. I was only joking. Hey, happy birthday, Nosebleed. <laughs> Time to cut the cake! Oh! Cake cutting time! Ah, look! My cake? You've butchered my cake! Allow me to wish you a happy birthday. I... Okay, I'll take a party hat. Super cool, right? People always... And I'll put it on, because I'm in the party spirit right now. There we go. Joy, my third person view, maybe? No How do you get for third person view? A reminder that life is there you go. Look, I'm wearing a hat. I'm wearing a hat. What are you looking at? Uh, this is supposed you talking to me? Party, you know? Fun? Nice you party, butthead. Now get lost before I have to make you cry. Shut up. I'll Happy whoop birthday. your ass. Hello, old lady. Are you having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Goodness, listen to me ramble. You're waiting for your present, aren't you? Oh, you don't have to bring me a present, Mrs. Palmer. Mm, I won't quite be that rude to her. I know I'm evil, but I'm just... Fiddlesticks. What ten-year-old doesn't like presents? <laughs> I was ten once, believe it or not. My goodness, the vault was practically crowded back then. Not like today. So few young people now. But here I am, rambling on again, and you listening so politely. Here you go. A nice sweet roll that I baked for you just this morning. And it's all for you. No sharing required today. Oh, how nice of you, old lady Palmer. I'm hungry, and that stupid robot destroyed the cake. Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady Palmer. <laughs> Excuse me? Is there one for... Oh, there we go. I'm going to say, if that's the only three I've got, no, no, there's more. Go soak your head, butch. I'm not giving you my sweet roll.
You do look hungry. What, your mum drank up all the ration coupons again? <laughs> now, that's more appropriate. Don't you talk about my mum, you little punk. What are you going to do? Oh, you are going to try and fight me? Now go on and enjoy yourself. Should have just given me the oh, sweet one. Oh, can I fight back here? What do you think you're doing? Leave you him alone. With the water purifier. You all right, son? He didn't hurt you, did he? Oh, sure, to worry about me. Of course I'm alright. I'll kick his backside. If you're so smart, why don't Paul you Hannan. Hey, uh, thanks for inviting me. Really cool party and everything. I know that, uh, Butch and I give you a hard time, but you don't take that seriously, right? Anyway, uh, happy birthday and everything. I better get back to, you know. Anything, right? Get back to kissing Butch's ass. Mr. Officer Gomez. I hope which didn't hurt you. You want to tell me what that was all about? He tried to take my birthday present. Why, that little... I figured it was him that started it. He's been nothing but trouble since the day he was born. You let me handle this and try to stay out of the way. Well, don't you worry. I hope you whoop him with that stick. What's Butch's problem, Whoa. anyway? I can't believe he tried to start a fight at your own birthday party. What a jerk. He's lucky Gorman stopped the fight before I really hurt him. Yeah. Right. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> How are you enjoying I hope that wasn't sarcasm Palmer? I heard in your I voice there, the lady. You All know. right, Butch. Enjoying yourself? Oh, really? Hey, They're lovely. Gomez. You nice did party, such a huh? splendid job. Can it? Hello, Officer Gomez. I'm glad you could make it. That was his so, reprimand. It's important to keep in touch. Hey there, Butch. That's all he said to him. Hey there, Butch. And that's enough to scare him, obviously. Uh, sure thing, Officer Gomez. Well, okay. Well, that was a, the, the best telling off I've ever seen. Good grief. No wonder things are out of control around here. Hello, Daddy. How's it going, pal? Are you all right? Is Butch giving you a hard time again? No. Don't worry, I can handle Butch. I'm glad to hear it. Once you start letting bullies push you around, you'll never see the end of it. Come on now. I bet there's someone else out there with a present for you. Shut up and let me think a minute. Nice part. I already don't like this guy. Stanley! How the devil How are do you? I like that Pip Boy, son. Fit all right and everything? It's all right. Seems kind of old, though. Of course it is, just like everybody else's. They don't make them anymore now, do they? That one I've been saving just for you, though. The A-Series is a bit heavier than some of the fancier models, but it won't let you down. I bet you could drop a bomb on one, and it would still work. As a matter of fact, I know you could. Sure, whatever. Did you bring me anything for my birthday? How about... Yeah, yawn. That's really interesting. Sure, most people don't give a thought to their Pip-Boy as long as it keeps working. Well, anyway, I got this for your birthday. It isn't much, and you probably already have one. But there you go. <laughs> Happy birthday. Ah, baseball cap. Okay. I will switch my party hat for a baseball cap. I, I like the party Come hat on, look. You guys can do better than that. Okay. You need a good name. If you're so smart, why don't you suggest it? Little baby went crying to Officer Gomez. Boo-hoo. You were talking to me earlier, Paul. Don't start kissing ass now. Where's Daddy going now? Happy birthday! Hey, Doc. We're all set down here. Having Thanks. fun? I'll send him right down. Yeah, I'm having fun. Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise present. Hmm. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. Okay, if you say so. My cake was cut in half. Butch caused a fight. I got a bloody That's baseball cool, cap right? and a sweet roll for a present. Bloody marvelous birthday! Happy birthday, dearie! My goodness! I hope I didn't miss the party. So stop calling me dearie. <laughs> of course you're not five. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite funny. You're a big ten-year-old man now, aren't you? With your very own Pip Boy. And do you know what I did? Just for the occasion, wrote you a poem. Oh my god. I hope you like it. <laughs> oh dear. Before we read this poem, I think we better pause it and resume the next part. See you soon.